Well, hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to the Scout Prepper channel. So, a project that's been really two years in the making for me because I started on this about two years ago. I worked on it for a month and got all the pieces together and it wasn't quite working, so I really didn't get back to it and I realized that it was something I needed to do. So what I've built in this Pelican case is an emergency power source. Now this is not finished. As you see, my panel's not screwed down yet. I'm still trying to uh, really finalize some of the connections in there. I'm gonna solder them instead of just using some wire connectors and stuff that I've used. But all in all, it's there and it's working. So it's a pretty cool toy. What this will do is this will give you uh, two USB and a 12 volt power. It's with a 12 amp hour battery in case the power's out. Pretty cool. It's in a Pelican case, so it's waterproof with the gasket that's in there. I also have a gasket for the panel. And it is uh, a pressure, you can pressurize it. It's pressure safe. See the valve there. So it's just a standard Pelican case. Now one difference in what a lot of guys were doing at home on YouTube and on the, uh, in kind of the aftermarket stuff is they were drilling through the case or drilling through the sides of it and stuff to make their connections come out. I didn't want to do that. I wanted the whole thing contained so that when you close this, this thing was still uh, element proof like it is right now. So that was kind of my deal is I want to make it in a Pelican case, but I don't want to drill through the container. I want to leave the container as intact as possible. So I did my own um, ABS plastic from like car stereo installs. I put the frame down, wired it all up, and it's pretty cool. This I've done two of these. One is a big system that I'm still working on with an AC inverter in there, and this one is the small one that's DC only. So real simple, it has a power switch on, which you'll see lights the light right there. You turn on the system, pretty simple, and it has 12 volt. Both of these do go off when you turn this off. It has a three watt sun force, a three amp, excuse me, sun force solar charge controller in there. It has a single battery. It has some battery posts that everything connects to. It's a 12 amp hour battery, uh, plenty of power to do whatever you're wanting to do. And it can recharge, it recharges via solar. So that's cool. If the power is out for an extended period of time, this will not only charge quite a few things that I have or allow me to run lights or what have you, but you can charge it up. And what I've done is I put the NOCO Genius chargers on a uh, charger port on there, which has the uh, four charging positions. So you'll know how much it's charged. Plus, by the way, the charge controller, of course, lets it float if you're continuing to charge, even though it's full. And then you just, I connected a 10 foot extension, uh, no code genius connector. You plug this right in there and then take your solar panel wherever you want it, 10 foot away, and it'll charge up. So this may be under the shade of, say, your porch, whereas that's sitting out front in the, uh, in the sun getting getting the better light but you're not super overheating this plus you can plug this in and then lower the lid on it to keep providing shade for the instrument now the bezel that i have in there the waterproof bezel it's not really going to waterproof the panel and that's okay I, my goal is not to make it totally waterproof when it's open but just that you know with the marine uh connectors with everything covered and everything with the gasket it'll be a little weather resistant i'll say so to dust, things like that, dirt that's blowing more over than water, but it's a lot more ruggedized than just a normal item would be with the marine grade covers and all that good stuff. And when this is all said and done and gasketed down and probably even caulked down, then again, it, it'll at least be uh, pretty dirt proof and things like that. This switch is a weak spot. I may change that out for a waterproof ruggedized switch, but it's doing the job for now. So uh, like I said, USB and 12 volt. I went with a dual battery system in a big Pelican 1500 case with an AC inverter that I'm still working on. I'll show you in another video. And again, it's doing AC with two USB and two 12 volts on the same deal, plus the AC. And the AC has a fan system that's powered when that system gets turned, when the AC part gets turned on so that it draws in air and draws out air, kind of like a computer case. So it won't let it overheat uh, at, really at all because there's a thermal protector on the inverter as well. So one cool thing, you're wondering what can you do with this? Well, of course, a 12 volt. You can plug in a, anything that goes in your cigarette lighter in your vehicle. So your flashlight charger, uh, your car charger for your cell phone, anything like that. But, and then of course you got the USB, which uh, powers anything USB. USB. Now this is a 2.1, whereas a lot of the smartphones today go up to 2.4 for what they call a fast charge, and this won't do that. I bought this two years ago before the 2.4s were really on the market much. 
So, but it does just fine. It charges my smartphone, which I have a brand new Samsung Note 4, which is a big phone, uh, big battery, and it charges just fine. Plenty of power to charge this over and over, as a matter of fact. But here's what I did for versatility. Now, I saw this from another guy who I guess is off of YouTube now, two years ago. I took a 12 volt, I bought this on Amazon, I bought everything on Amazon. I bought a 12 volt um, dual pole adapter. So it's 12 volt to dual pole. I got uh, the other uh, dual pole end that I wired to 25 feet of thermostat wire, and that's 18-2 thermostat wire. I actually bought a 50 foot spool and cut it in half so I'd have two. What I did is on that, every four or five feet, I put two T-taps, one on the positive, one on the negative. I wired that with uh, uh, female connectors onto the male T-taps to a socket that runs a 2.5 watt, 1136, I believe, lumen LED light bulb. And you're thinking, well, it's just a little tiny light bulb that won't do much. And you're right, it's not a ton, but it's pretty darn bright. I have those going all the way down the cord, as you see, that I have folded up with another uh, dual pole adapter on the end so that you can plug another cord in and keep it going. You'll have 50 feet. So you can put these lights on there. You can put these connectors to a little fan that's running. You can put these connectors to wire up anything you want. Then every four, five, six feet, whatever you choose, you have another port where you can plug something in. So you can have four or five lights down this thing, three lights and a fan, uh, whatever you want. You get the picture. So obviously this is something I made. You can do it as you wish, but you're wondering how bright it is. And I'll just show you, it's great. So you plug in the 12 volt, Make sure it's connected. Click it on, and there it is. So it's real bright, actually. Uh, super bright. And if you had several of these, it makes quite a lot. So you just illuminated your room or what have you. And if you're hanging this up uh, for an emergency situation in your house, so you string this string all the way across your living room, you've lit up an area. So you string this across your garage while you're trying to work on something or find some supplies, it's lit up the area and I mean it's lit up the area it's quite nice and at a 2.5 watt LED bulb from my calculations this thing will run about 81 hours without needing to be charged at all off of just a little 12 amp hour system that I've done so fully loaded with all these lights they'll run continuously which of course is not night continuously but they'll run for a long time you, you'll get a long days and days uh, or actually nights and nights out of this system. So pretty neat just in that. And again, you can be charging your cell phones, your GPS, your AA battery charger, um, whatever you have that's 12 volt. They make just about every accessory you can think of in 12 volt. And a lot of times they're on Amazon, things like that. Again, all the parts for this I did get on Amazon, but of course you have to cut your own plastic and you have to drill your own holes. I had to wire my own stuff and um, figure it all out, but it's a pretty fun project. It's not hard to go uh, charger controller to the solar port, battery to the charger controller, battery, and then all that goes to your power poles and all your stuff comes off your power poles. So it's not a real hard deal and it's a single battery system so not hard to do. It looks like, I thought I had one sitting here beside me, I guess I don't, but it looks like a rectangular uh, little sealed battery is what it is. It's uh, like one of those Lark or Scooter batteries. I think that's what they call them and it's just 12 volt and in this case, they make them in tons of sizes, but in this case, I got a 12 amp hour. I bought some bigger ones that are like 16s and they're more square uh, for that bigger system. So guys, I hope this helps you just uh, maybe give you some, a fun weekend project or whatever. It does cost a little bit of money. The battery is about 25. The case was about 30, 35. Uh, and then the frame and then the parts, the little switches and parts are all seven to 10 bucks, you know? So there's a little bit of money in the thing. The charge controller, I think 29. I probably have um, solar panel and everything, and that solar panel is a 10 watt. So I think it was probably 25 or 30. Again, I bought this stuff a couple years ago, but I probably have 150 bucks and everything, maybe 200, uh, plus some time. You know, it can be wired up in uh, in uh, just a, a weekend or so, or a, you know, a Saturday or what have you. It's not real hard to do, and it's fun. So now you have something fun to do. And you're getting yourself a little more prepared for the power outage. Again, the sky's the limit, so you could build a multi-battery system like I'm working on as well in the bigger case. You could put other accessories in here that you need. In the big case, I've moved the charge controller up into the panel because it has the AC and all that. And the charge controller is bigger. It was a 10 amp. So my charge controller is up here so you can see it all the time. 
no big deal because on this one I have the NOCO Genius that tells me I'm at 100%, so I don't have to see the charge controller, but it is just more confirmation that everything's working visually, you know, and what have you. Well, I hope you like it, guys. As always, I appreciate the views and subscriptions. Keep them coming. Remember that Scout Prepper is a three-channel network. It's Scout Prepper, which is under Scout Tactical, and there's also Scout Hunter. Check them all out. We're on YouTube with all three channels, on Facebook, on Instagram, on Twitter. It's scouttactical.com for the website, and as always, thanks for watching.